Breaking right now at 5 a.m., a standoff between police and a heavily armed man sends a Troop County neighborhood into lockdown. This dangerous situation has actually been going on since yesterday afternoon. Our Trace and Bragg is now at the scene getting new information from police. It's still a very active scene behind you, Trayson. That's right, Gavir. I mean, take a look behind me. Look, multiple officers here. Very active scene. We're about a quarter of a mile away from the house where all this is taking place. Now, as you said, this standoff started hours ago. In fact, over a day ago. And it started and it, it actually took place at 118 Sunny Point Circle here in LaGrange, Georgia. It started or began after officers showed up to do a welfare check on two eight year old children who were possibly inside the residence. Now they identified the person who lived there as Brian Jesse and apparently he was threatening to commit suicide. Now at some point officers were able to safely remove the children from that home here in LaGrange, but they did eventually have to come back and they received a court order to basically check on Jesse's mental health. Now at some point they say Jesse uh, actually pulled a AR-15 and actually fired multiple shots here in the area. So officers decided to start evacuating residents in the area. But this is still going on, right? They say that they actually at some point tried to enter the residence after hearing not only did he have guns, but he also had explosives. So they tried to enter the residence. That was unsuccessful at this point. But here's what officers had to say recently. Right now, it's uh, it's been quiet within the home. We're not having any response from him. So we're, you know, currently we don't know if the return fire has caused an injury to him or if there's he's high, he's still in hiding. So we're currently still working, utilizing a robot to be able to visually see inside the home and things of that nature. The yeah, officers actually tried to use a vehicle when they tried to enter that home. Again, that was unsuccessful. We are going to continue to track this situation and let you know the very latest details as soon as they are available. But as you said, this is still a very active scene and we don't know how long it's going to stay that way. So we're going to let you know the very latest. Reporting live in LaGrange, I'm Tracy Bragg, CBS 46 News.